You know, season 6 was a real disappointment for me. And it's not for the reasons that the primal shotgun was bad or the crafting system was terrible. Because honestly, those things were perfectly fine in my opinion. What upsets me is the fact that there was so much wasted potential in this season. They added two new weapon types, each with their own individual purpose and quirks. And a ton of changes to the loot pool that were awesome. But, by the end, they totally disqualified the purpose of one of the categories. The crafting system was basically reliant on the makeshifts, and when there was so many craftable weapons already lying around, they felt useless. And the story, oh, that was good potential. It was an awesome story, with the foundation being locked inside the zero point, and Jonesy getting lost in the loop in the process. So, what's going to happen next? Conspiracy theorists screaming about aliens, Jonesy having fun with the crystals, and Raz being like, Hey, get me in on that. And the map barely changed throughout the entire season. It was just disappointing. And the crafting system was an interesting concept at the beginning. And so, it gave a natural progression through just 22 minutes. When you earned a pump shotgun, you earned that pump shotgun. Or you just stole it. Yeah. But since there were so many other new craftable weapons just lying around like lollipops, it became useless. I was just disappointed in everything. I just am sorry about this season. And it kind of made me want to hate this one as well. But I stood strong, and I waited it out the storm. So, what do I think of Season 7? Well, it's good, but not that good. This season has a lot of ups, but it also has just as much downs. And I'm just going to talk about them all here. So... Let's get started with the only logical place that you could ever begin in a video. The weapons. These weapons carried this update. I mean, seriously, you could explain the entire season just by talking about the weapons. Everything's good, except the pulse rifle. Yeah, just keep that in mind while I go through the rest of the video, you'll inevitably understand. Because each weapon has its own individual purpose with its own individual reasons. The recon grenade gives you access to scanning nearby enemies and chests. And while this may be aimbot and wall hacks, I don't exactly know. So, let's go on to... Hey, look at me, I have a- Incoming power. You cannot run from my power. Infinite power. Infinite power! <laughs> Too weak. Uh. And I can only describe the feeling of the ray gun as well.
this thing is just dopamine. This thing is just a pure dopamine hit whenever you use it. I mean, the second that you start charging up this rifle, you feel the heavy charge of it pulling itself up with its energy. And then the swift release. And the second that you hit them is the exact second when you get that dopamine hit, and it feels amazing. I, I just love this weapon so much. So when you compare all that to the pulse rifle, well... It's garbage. It's supposed to sacrifice fire rate for more damage, but there is several reasons why I hate the promise of that. I mean, number one, I can barely get a shot off before somebody who's spraying and praying beats me to the death. Number two, if I wanted a weapon like that, I would choose the heavy AR. And number three, this is just a copy of the Stark Rifle. Look how they massacred my boy! The IO guards have truly fallen from grace. Flashback to Season 5, where whenever I faced an IO squad, I had a genuine sense of fear. But the sense of fear that said, finally, a worthy opponent, our battle will be legendary. And then I start fighting them and going in like I'm gonna die. And if I survive, I feel like a complete champion after it. That felt good. But now, you have bumbling morons. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, like, why? Wh why did you do this? You... I, I even feel like I need to walk past them, because there is absolutely no need for senseless violence here. You took an army that could kill you in a second into these idiotic, null-brained stormtrooper clones that can't fire a weapon that is going at one shot per hour. And I'm sorry, that's not the only reason why I sneak around Corny Complex. Oh yeah, then why is it then? Well, just look behind you. Wait, there's nobody behind me. Ah! Yes, Dr. Sloan, PhD in beating me half to death, is the reason why I sneak around Corny Complex. I mean, she is neither worth the effort nor the time, because she gives you a migraine by activating mitosis, and just starts going at you. And you don't know which one is which. Honestly, nobody does. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know either. Because they all act just as aggressively. And all can kill you. And once you think you've gotten them all, she just spawns more. Why? Why do you do this? Ah! My best advice in these situations? Run. Okay, okay. Uh, she just walked past. She doesn't see me. I'm like finding, I'm like finding an Eric in a haystack. It's impossible. Okay, she's separated from the clone. I can, I can do this. I can do this. Wait, wait, what? No, 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 no. Ah! And she gives you a rifle that fires one hour a second. Why? The UFOs are cool. Yeah, that that's that's pretty much it. This is the only clip you need to see of them. <laughs> okay. You think your buildings are actually gonna do something against a flying saucer? You ain't got nothing! You can run, you can hide, but there is no stopping me. Fight me like a man. Mano, a giant Oreo. Okay. Really? You're trying to drag this out? Got a video to do? 
Oh, you think you're gonna think you're gonna escape? Well, there's no escape from me. Okay. Where are you? Where where did you go? Okay, there you are. Yes, there you are. There you are. Oh, this is this is just fun watching them panic in pure terror as they realize there is no escape. I mean, you could shoot me down. Ethan! Where are you, Ethan Winters? Come on. Where are you? Uh, okay. You're running out of- you're gonna run out of materials eventually, okay? You're gonna have to- you're gonna have to die eventually. That's kind of the path of life. Death is imminent. Do not try to escape it. <laughs> I just got a battle royale by pushing some of these stores. That was the most just terrible battle royale ever. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, yeah. And the abductors and what they abduct you for is actually pretty fun. And I especially love how it's not a winner-takes-all situation. Because how the game works is that you are all thrown into an arena where you physically can't hurt anybody, and you're on a stopwatch. And you need to get these orbs to keep the stopwatch up. To unlock different vaults, which correspond to different levels, you need to grab vault orbs. And I love how these aren't a winner-takes-all situation, but more of a, the better you play, the more vault orbs you'll get, and the higher levels you will get with loot. And even if you don't win all five stars, you still win something from this experience. Even if it's just green. But, the better you play, and the better you are, and the faster you go, and the more efficient you are with your time, you can do better, and you can achieve better things. So, once you get that last Vault Orb, you get the best loot that you can possibly get out of that. And I love that. Everybody gets something. The Battle Pass has its interesting gimmicks. I love how the Battle Pass basically gives you what you want at the pace you want it while giving you all the stuff that you don't want. And the Chimera skin is an awesome way to play homage to all the old tropes of aliens while still being fun customization. Yeah, I created a monster. Finally, a beast with the capability to help Pizza the Hut. Yeah, I still don't get why they decided to make a cameo with mild-mannered reporter Clark Kent. That's a bit confusing to me, but everything else is good. The map's okay, and the story's fine. So let's look at the map first. And I think it's somewhat interesting, but somewhat underwhelming. They removed the orange zones, yet they still kept bony burbs. Believer Beach got an upgrade from Sweaty Sands. And there's IO outposts where they monitor the UFO. And... Grim has decided to hide the fact that he went to Taco Bell, and 
there's corny complex, which I really hate for a specific reason. Corny complex is the idea of a farm, but it's secretly a cover operation for an underground base for the I.O. And on its own, this is a pretty interesting concept. What disappoints me about it is the history of this location. Let's quickly run through it. First, it started off with a simple farm, and then got crushed under Stark Industries, and then once Stark Industries left, it got crushed under a Coliseum, and once the Coliseum left, it degraded into a farm, in which it was then taken over by the I.O. that turned it into another farm slash underground base. I got tired of animating that. And, geez, save some of the updates for any of the other locations that haven't changed since the beginning of the chapter. Or Coral Castle. Remove Coral Castle, you idiots. I'm just... And the story... The story is a complete waste of time. Because after all of that traumatic revealing, and all of that waiting, and... All of those dramatic sacrifices in order to contain the Zero Point... It was just a disappointment to see the zero points okay now. We don't have to deal with that, uh, I, I guess. It just lost all tension that you could have ever had with the story. And unless there's a secret member of the Seven on board of that UFO, I, I this season's a waste, in story-wise. And... Wait... Wait. Da 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 da, driving down the road. Hit somebody with my car. Yeah, I probably put them out of their misery. This, attention, this is the intergalactic bonk army. Submit your simps or prepare to be bonked. This is 420 at 69. Uh, we've identified simping at uh, this house right here. Uh, squad is going in to investigate. We have confirmed simping. Lethal bonks engaged. Okay. Uh, target neutralized. Colonel, I'm in. Good work, Snake. Now extract the intel and get out of there. Make sure these computers don't see me. Watch out for that one. She's mighty dangerous. Roger that. These cameras won't be able to see me if they're all gone. Make sure there's no hostiles in your sight. They might see you. Past. Quickly, Snake, to the escape vehicle. A UFO. Now get, now get out of there. They might see you until then. It's too late. I assure you, sir. Our plans have not been delayed by the recent break-ins. Good. Follow Horrible's plan. Yes, sir. It will be done. For the order. 